England's second city, and along with neighbouring Sandwell and Solihull, home to more than 1.6 million people. From Tuesday, none of them can mix socially with anyone from a different household. Clearly something needs to be done, but especially as a new mum with a baby, it's quite isolating to know I'm not going to be able to see anybody. There's no clarity about everything. I mean, if that was the case from the beginning and nothing has improved, why did we decide to open again? I think it's a bit complicated. I think it's also a bit um, ridiculous that we've had the whole, like, eat out to help out scheme and now suddenly we're being told that, you know, it's our fault in a way. Birmingham's infection rate is second only to Bolton's, a situation the restrictions should help to reverse. It has been proven to work. We've seen it work in Leicester. Um, where now through uh, our work with the local uh, leaders, through the local infrastructure, through people actually uh, showing you know, high compliance, we've brought the numbers down so we can reopen businesses in Leicester. Bolton, uh, uh, we're taking action in that was announced uh, this week. It is the right thing to do. The UK's R number is now between 1 and 1 1.2, which means nationwide the epidemic is growing again. England's largest testing study shows that acceleration is widespread, but fastest in the North East, North West, Yorkshire and the Humber. During the six weeks from late July, the number of people with coronavirus was doubling every 17 days. But in the last fortnight of that period, cases have been doubling every seven or eight days. It reinforces the reasoning behind the new rule of six, restricting social gatherings, Wales has now announced children under 11 will not count. Scotland is exempting children under 12, but in England, kids are included. One MP warns even citizens who've obeyed the rules so far may start to resist. Well, I think it's utterly grotesque. This is a gross intrusion into our private lives, into our family lives, into our freedom to associate as we wish. Uh, and I think there will be an inclination on people's part to... Um, do what they wish to do if nobody's looking. Uh, and who can blame them for that? It'll be up to the police to enforce the new laws nationwide as well as the local lockdowns. But realistically, that will only be possible if people themselves choose to act responsibly. Catherine Jones, Five News.